Snakes take playing dead to a whole new level. Once they die, they're dead, but not really. Think of them as being a part-time zombie. Oh, it just bit itself. Wow. The snake's head just bit its body. What you just saw isn't out of some science fiction movie. It's very real and very dangerous. Snakes are not only resilient, but they tend to hold grudges even in death. We tend to forget that bodies in general are a coalition of cells working together. Once the snake dies, the body still remains. Since the body has no brain, it's only capable of its innate biological functions. Unlike humans, a snake's body tissue stays alive a good amount of time without blood circulation due to it being ectothermic or a cold-blooded animal. So how does all of this help a dead snake to bite you? Well, the answer lies in the snake's heat sensory pits in its mouth. Once the snake's sensory gland detects any form of heat, the pit organ sends a chemical message to the optic tectum. The optic tectum is responsible for receiving sensory information ranging from auditory to sensory. In this case, it received infrared radiation from what's inside the snake's mouth. Once the signal from the sensory pit gets relayed to the optic tectum, the visual processor of the brain, an ion channel starts opening up. Ion channels are proteins found in a cell's membrane that allow for passage of specific ions. Ions go through the membrane in the snake's mouth, and this passing creates electrical impulses. The impulse goes through the muscle of the snake's mouth, specifically the contraction of the temporalis muscles, which is responsible for biting down. I think it goes without saying that snakes were already pretty fierce creatures, but this adds a whole new level of danger. If for whatever reason you do see a dead snake, please don't go poking it with a stick or worse, your finger. But this doesn't mean that snakes are evil or anything. They're really interesting creatures and some of them look really cool. Personally, my favorite snake is the king cobra. What about you? Leave it in the comments below.